so today's video is going to be more of a conversational type content and we're both going to interact so if i state my point in this video and you don't agree with it or you agree with it you can actually have a discussion in the comment section stating your pov and stuff like that so today's video we're gonna be talking about whether Accra living in Accra here in Ghana if it is overrated or overhyped because I for one had certain feelings about living in Accra and not other parts of Ghana um, but now I think I have a different point of view that I want to share with you guys hi everyone welcome back or welcome to the channel if you're new Hi, I'm Sams. I make a lot of sit-down videos talking about my experiences in life as a whole living in Ghana as a foreigner. So if you're interested in content like these, then subscribe and join the family. Now I'm going to stop shamelessly promoting myself and we're going to get into the actual content. Is living in Accra overrated or overhyped? From my perspective, I'm going to give you guys like my first perspective that I had and then growing in Accra over time, how it changed. So when I first got here, I felt like living in Accra was overrated or is overrated because for one, I have always been someone who would love to live on a countryside, live a private life, not the busy, fast life. So I felt like Accra was too busy and too fast. So I always had a thing against staying in Accra, even though I was staying in Accra. So if you don't know, I actually stayed in Accra for over two years and then I moved to Central Region for I think a year and a half I spent like my entire time in Central Re Region doing the whole COVID era and um, after that I had to move back to Accra for school because it was far from where my school is so I had to come back to Accra to school. So for now my perspective have actually changed about the whole living in Accra being overrated or overhyped and I'm gonna give you all of my points. So this is where you come in. If you don't agree with the things that I am saying, then you can leave your point of view in the comment section. I will gladly take constructive criticisms because it's important to my growth. So um, currently staying in Ghana here in general for five years and staying in Accra for basically four or three years, I feel like now I understand that staying in Accra is not overrated because a lot of people do not have the choice of staying here in the capital. I say this because a lot of people have jobs and even if they want to live in other rural areas or other parts of Ghana, they can because a lot of entities and work areas and um, companies do exist in Accra. So if I were to move to Kumasi or Temale and stuff like that, and I want a job and I am assigned in Accra, I do not have an option to come and stay in Accra. Another reason why I used to say living in Accra is overhyped or overrated is because a lot of houses price are overpriced okay a lot of homes are overpriced in Accra here because you can go to other parts in other regions here in Ghana and the type of houses that they overprice in Accra are cheaper in those regions you can get like a very decent and affordable house outside of Accra where you can live comfortably without a lot of complications okay so I had a problem with that but then it's not people's fault 
that they are willing to pay those prices for those type of homes in Accra here because they have to, like I said again, a lot of us don't have a choice because a lot of universities are located here in Accra. A lot of institutions are situated here in Accra. So if you want to come to school, you have, if you want to come to universities because there are a lot of high schools and stuff like that that are outside of Accra. But when it comes to universities and stuff like that, there are a lot of universities that are here in Accra. So a lot of people will have to stay in Accra regardless of if they love it here and whatnot. Now, another point of why I personally feel like staying in Accra is not overrated anymore is because um, you can never get bored living in Accra. Like, there is no way in any country you're going to get bored when it comes to activities and stuff like that living in the capital. It doesn't make sense. Like, basically, almost all of the activities and stuff like that goes on in the capital. Here, you have a lot of recreational centers that you can visit with your family, with your friends, and stuff like that. You have a lot of activities that you can do here in Accra compared to other regions. I'm not talking about regions like Kip Kools and Kumasi and stuff like that because there are fun stuff to do over there as well. So, um... But there are other regions that you really can do a lot. So a lot of people will love to stay in Accra because they have a lot of options when it comes to having fun and stuff like that. So it makes a lot of sense as to why a lot of people would stay here and rather not other parts of Ghana. So, um... For me personally, I also think staying in Accra is not overrated because this is where all of the big money comes in. <laughs> this is where all of the big money comes in. Even though some of these people be making fun out of their employees, but here, when you stay here, you get to have a lot of opportunities and options when it comes to business ventures like maybe you want to start your own business and stuff like that you have more people to buy your stuff and all that jazz so um it makes sense if you want to stay here and run a business because staying in the, in the rural era it's fun depending on the type of business I shouldn't say rural era because there are other parts of Ghana that aren't really that rural. Staying in other parts of Ghana other than the capital, you can make business and make money, but not as compared to making the bands or the breads here in the capital. Uh, I know a lot of you guys are going to say, no, I'm living in when you want to run business, it's best to run business in the in other parts of Ghana other than the capital because there are people who are short of um, things. It makes sense, but there's always demand in the capital. But when it comes to like the rural areas and stuff like that, maybe you want to do international business and stuff, you will always have to come to Accra to get your stuff from the port. So that's why you'll find out that in most countries, Wherever there is a port, people will always um, invest. Um, investors will always want to put like their companies and entities closer to the port to reduce costs and stuff like that. I'm so sorry I have cold. Maybe you probably didn't notice from the start of this video, but I do have a cold. And um, I'm sitting on the floor right now because it's really comfortable here. Uh... So yeah, but I'm um, so far, those are sort of like my point. Um, a lot of people are being assigned in Accra. A lot of people have their jobs here. A lot of people, kids have to go to school here. So they have no options in order to move here rather than other parts of the country. So I don't think it's overrated. I don't think it's overhyped when it comes to the... Um, 
consumers or citizens point of view is not but when it comes to the business aspect it's overrated because especially housing sometimes i don't get why these people i i, I mean i do now but at some point i never really realized why these people would actually overprice their homes and I do now because it seems like we're all desperate to stay in a house so they're like you have no option but you're gonna pay because your job is here your school is here and you have to be closer to whatever because there's no way someone will want to spend six hours on the road trying to get to school like for instance now I currently have a class in uni where it's like from 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. So if I were to stay outside of the capital where my school is and I have a 5 to 8, that means I am never going to attend because if I'm going to attend, then that means I'm going to have to sleep in the capital and then leave the next day. That's like wasting money. That's like wasting resources and not using common sense. So, um, and I do understand. So, um, these are my points, but if you have more points, maybe I'm being short-sighted or something like that. If you do have more points that you can give out concerning this topic or this conversation, then do that in the comment section. I will be happy to read you guys' um, comments. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so, so much. And thank you guys for rocking with me. We're almost, almost, almost closer to hitting 1K. So um, keep that support coming and let's rock this thing. So thank you guys for watching today's video. I love and appreciate you guys. I cannot wait to see you in the next video. So don't forget to stay true to yourself and peace. We're out.